Alrighty guys, welcome to our Major League Baseball video here today for Saturday, October 22nd, 2022. My name is Brock Page and I've been doing sports picks for free right here on YouTube since 2016. I also sell my personal sports bets on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And if you want to see which games I'm betting on personally, there's only one way to do that and that's to sign up for a membership on my website. Now, I currently have over 620 members who are signed up and active on that site right now. With that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to take a look at the Astros squaring off against the Yankees, 507 Eastern first pitch. Uh, Houston's up two, uh, two games of nothing in the series. That's uh, game three, by the way. Uh, that said, even though Houston's up, it's New York who's minus 145 at home, total seven runs. Garrett Cole for the Bombers, Christian Javier for Houston. Now, Javier's had a real good season this year for the Astros. He's got 11 wins and an ERA in the twos. But even more impressive, Javier's got a .94 whip. And he's just six strikeouts shy of 200 for the year. Now, hitting-wise, the Strohs have been impossible to strike out at the dish. These guys have fewer strikeouts per game than any other team in the postseason at this point. Jordan Alvarez, he has seven RBI in the postseason. Meanwhile, Yuli Gurriel, he's got a playoff batting average of 409. Now, they're facing a Yankee squad who, believe it or not, they lost four out of their last six ball games. I know that they're in the postseason. It seems improbable, but yeah, they dropped four out of their last six, and they averaged only 3.3 runs a game during that span. And even though Aaron Judge has hit a pair of home runs in the playoffs, He's hitting just 178 in the postseason, and he struck out a dozen times. Now, total-wise, New York's 8-1 to the under in their last nine. Meanwhile, Houston went 80% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward Houston plus one and a half, under seven. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Padres at the Phillies game four. And that's going to be a 745 Eastern start time in South Philly. Now, both teams are minus a buck 10 with the total at eight. Bailey Falter for the Fightins, Mike Clevenger for San Diego. Now, Clevenger is just seven and seven on the year with an ERA in the fours. Now, the Pods also find themselves in the bottom 10 at the plate in home runs. They're facing a Philly team who loves to hit the baseball. Bryce Harper is hitting 400 in the postseason with four homers and seven RBI. Meanwhile, Gene Segura is eight for 28 in the playoffs with five ribbies. Of course, pitching wise, not a lot of guys know about him. Uh, kind of a young up and comer uh, here for Philly, but uh, Bailey Falter's got some, some pretty good stuff. He's six and four in the year with an ERA in the threes. Now, when it comes to the total, four out of Philly's last seven outings did get over the number. Meanwhile, San Diego went 60% to the over in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward Philadelphia, minus about 10 over eight runs. And with that, guys, now it's time for our quick pick recap. I like Houston plus one and a half under seven. And give me Philly minus a buck ten over eight. 